Hey guys, today we're talking about drop shipping. We're talking about how you can be more effective with drop shipping, how you can make more money with drop shipping, how you can increase the value of all of your customers with drop shipping. We're also gonna be talking about some of the pitfalls that people have with drop shipping. And we're gonna be showing you exactly how to maximize all this and we're gonna show you the tools that we use to allow us to do this. So if this is something that interests you, Please stick around for the rest of the video. So hi guys, today it's all about drop shipping. So if this is something that you're interested in, please give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you appreciate the video, of course, give me a thumbs up so I know that this is a video that you're interested in. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button and if you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified as and when there are new videos on this channel. So let's talk about today's video. As I say, I've spoken about it at the start. So we're talking about um, pitfalls with drop shipping. We're talking about how you can maximize the customers, how you can basically be more effective with drop shipping. So let's just start from the start quickly. Drop shipping, what is it? It's promoting and selling products uh, that you do not hold the inventory of. You sell on behalf of someone else, the manufacturer, retailer, whoever. Um, the manufacturer deals with the shipping to the customer. Um, you provide the details of the customer to them when you get the sale and then they ship it direct. They ship it direct, okay? So you don't hold any of the inventory yourself. You don't have stock. It's all to do with the people that are selling the product, okay? So you're kind of a middleman, okay? And you sell to your audience at a higher price um, than the manufacturer would sell to you, um, and there you get the profit, okay? So essentially, the typical uh, funnel um, of Typical drop shippers are you have people that come to the site, they look at the store, they click purchase, and then they've got the product, okay? So, you know, there are obviously loads of problems there, and some of the main reasons why drop shippers do not maximize the product sales is because the, the pages that they're sending people are low converting, um, and they're pages that distract people there's a lot of things going and it's just for a single product one single product um, there's no supplementary or complementary products that you're then presenting to them once they've made the decision to purchase okay so if you just look at this uh, typical store and I don't know whose this is I just googled it and found it um, so no offense to whoever has created this site but this is a typical sort of Shopify drop shipping store, it has a product and it has some information there, but really nothing useful. This is just a load of waffle. Um, no one's gonna read this and then make the decision to purchase based on that information. And essentially, that's all the information about the product on the page. So why is anyone gonna make that purchase? You've got uh, social proof here. This is 96% of buyers enjoy this pro product, but then we go down and there's not a single review Okay, so there's not there's not consistency. The images, you know, are of the product, but they're they, they, yeah they they're not adding anything to it. And then as soon as we you know we look above, we've got all these pages to all look home and garden pets, knitting, phone accessories, skulls and goths. You know, it's it's all over the shop. Okay, and then you go down here, and then there's items frequently bought this product. So you've got a micro clean products frequently bought with some skull headphones apparently you know so there's no consistency there um, and there's too many you know so as soon as i get to the bottom i'm clicking on other products i'm i'm leaving this page okay so that's just an example of you know problems that people have they think they need to have loads of different products they think they need to have you know multiple bites of the cherry when they're bringing people to their to their page because if they're not interested in that send them to something else. You know, it's completely the wrong approach, okay? You want to maximize um, those people 
come into that page, you want them to come to that page specifically for that reason of you know, potentially buying that product. And if they do, maximize them on that page, okay? So as I said, single products, what we want to do is that once they've decided to purchase it, we want to suggest other products that complement it, okay? And the way that we do this is we do this by selling through a funnel. Now, what is a funnel? A funnel is the process by which visitors pass through your business, they become a customer, they move through different stages of your business, which gives you the opportunity to present all manner of products, services, and content, okay, before they exchange with their cash. So, okay, so what it what, what does a funnel comprise of? It comprises of a sales page, um, and this is gonna be something that's specific to that page, okay? There's not gonna be links to go to other sites, that, you know, the pages on your site, different categories, any of that stuff. There's not gonna be, you know, associated products on this page. It's gonna be all about converting uh, the, the visitor to purchase this one product, okay? Because once we've managed to persuade them to purchase this one product, they're more likely to purchase more products, okay? Okay, and within this, we also give them the opportunity of an order bump. And an order bump is essentially selling the same product to them but at a discount, okay? So it might be we sell with one product for 20 bucks, we're gonna sell two products, uh, you know, at a 15% discount, for example. And then as I say, once they've made their decision, the next page they see is not the checkout, okay? It's not the thank you, it is a page that shows them a product that complements the first product. So if we have a necklace, we show them earrings, for example, and that is how we move them across. Okay, and then when we get to the, the checkout, um, you know, they they pay for everything, okay? So it's, just, it's, it's pretty simple, okay? Now, some of the issues that people have with, with funnels is that they don't know how to set them up because obviously it's more confusing than just setting up a Shopify store, adding products, and then just letting Shopify kind of deal with that side of it, okay? Um, and obviously, and also, there are a number of products out there and they add significant costs. Now, just looking at some of these the bits and pieces, like Shopify, you're paying uh, for a basic store 29 bucks per month, per month, okay? Then you've got some uh, products that work with Shopify um, and they also have monthly costs that, that allow you to do these sorts of funnels, okay? 300 pound a month of cart hook. Uh, one click upsell is 47 a month um, plus revenue. Sweet upsells is um, 20, 20 bucks a month. And then you've got, you know, slightly more advanced is where you can build sites out with click funnels, uh, which is a great thing to do. But of course, you're looking at 97 bucks a month for the basic version and the Edison suite. 297, okay, so you're talking about extensive um, upfront costs before you even start, okay? And what we want is, we want the ability to create a funnel where we've got a, a sales page, which then leads to an upsell page or a downsell page, depending on you know what they're interested in, and then take them through the payment process. We wanna be able to take their their email so that we can email to them, we can do email marketing marketing to them, and then we want sales pages. Okay, oh, thank you pages, sorry, at the end. So to tie it all together. So I'm talking about I'm gonna to talk to you and show you a product called Express Funnels in this uh, the rest of this video, which solves this problem. Okay. There's no monthly fees, um, it's got pre-designed pages. Um, and we can tie it all together with the payment processor, with the autoresponder, uh, and it is super, super easy to use, okay? So let's, I'm gonna jump into it now and I'm gonna show you how to use this. And if you've got this far in this video, I think you're gonna be impressed uh, by the ease of uh, how we can do this, okay? So once we're inside, we click on uh, create a funnel, and here we can put in, I'm just gonna put in demo for the video. I'm gonna click create a funnel. So I've created my funnel now. You can see that's uh, here. I'm gonna click on it. 
and now you can see that it says that I have no pages, okay? But the top, I've got buttons to create different types of pages, okay? So you can see we've got two types of pages to start with. These are the, the, the pages, the, the front sales pages. So we've got sales offer and we've just pay shipping, okay? So just essentially they're the same types of pages. They've just been worded slightly differently. So once we're within them, we've got four uh, different types. We've got a, a long form page, a short, uh, and uh, one that you can get the email and one that has a video. So let's just click on the video. So I'm just gonna give it a name. I'm gonna activate a countdown so I, or I can you know, go in here and choose uh, when I, how long I want this to, to run for. Okay, because this is gonna be beneath here. So let's just talk about this. So as you can see, this is a long form page uh, that has information on it, which is super, super cool, okay? So we've got the ability to add our own logo here with a nice banner across the top. We've got a headline, okay? We always want headlines, okay? This is the difference between if you can see the difference between this and looking at this sales page, this uh, sort of Shopify store, okay? It's just a product, okay? It's not incentivizing me to purchase this product. I mean, look again at what we've got here. We've got a headline here where we're, you know, we're saying that, you know, this is the product price and we're saying that, we, that it comes with a massive discount. You know, we're talking about the shipping already. And then here we can upload an image just by clicking on the camera icon there to put our own icon. We can um, add information about the features there. And obviously we've got the countdown here so we can add scarcity. So if we're driving traffic to it, we can actually have uh, specific campaigns where we say this is gonna be live for 24 hours, for example. And that, uh, that gives that scarcity for people. You can see here that we've got the order bump that I spoke about just a few moments ago. You know, check this box if you'd like to get two of the product for an increased discount of 60%, for example. Now all of this text, everywhere here is 100% editable. So I can just click on it and change it. Okay, so I can say that I can change, you know, you know just by clicking on it, changing the percentage. I can do the same with the buttons, change the prices here. It says this limited time offer, just 9.95. I can change that to, you know, 35.95, 102, whatever I decided want it to be. You know, we've got the payment options here. And I've got some uh, customer reviews here. I can just click on the button to upload different photographs. I can change the testimonials. So I can go ahead to just say I'm drop shipping from AliExpress. I can go and find some real reviews that are on the sales pages there. And I can just copy them over. I've got the ability here to add in a video for the product. And of course, you know, the same here. And we've got these seals here uh, for guarantees, so and so forth. And then at the bottom, I can put my refund policies and the address, contact details, all that good stuff, okay? So I can create some really cool pages there. Now, let's just go back and just quickly show you the other pages that you, you can make. Now, obviously, that's the front page. When the person clicks on the, uh, the buy button for that, we set it up so they go through to the upgrade page. So I just click on that and you can see this, it's congruent with the first page that we saw. It looks very, very similar, and that is on purpose, okay? So that they uh, they know uh, it, it's, it doesn't take them to something completely different, throw them off the tangent, okay? So again, we can upload our video, our logo, but you can see here, it says, wait, we are processing your order, but it's not yet complete, okay? And it won't be. It won't be because they haven't gone through to uh, payment processing, okay? But we're showing them a secondary product, Okay, so we can, uh, again, we can change the information, we can upload a photograph, price, product benefits, it's got all the other stuff from the other pages. Um, and, you know, we've got the option here, yes, please upgrade my order, or no thanks, I'll pass and upgrade, okay? So that, that that's uh, pretty much as simple as that. They then go through the payment processing uh, stage, okay, to purchase, you know, the product or the multiple product, depending on what they've, they've chosen. And then we've also got uh, thank you pages. So once they've gone through it, 
Uh, we've just got these thank you pages where we can put variety of information there, but we've also got uh, the ability to, I mean, if we create other funnels, we can add them in here and we've got these product uh, funnels here. So when they've got the thank you page, they then can see recommended products. You know, we saw here that, you know, they recommended all these products frequently bought of, you know, this is not the right time to show them. It's once you've got, once they've made the order, then show them those products, okay? So if you're interested in this, go down to the bottom of the video and uh, check out the link for Express Funnels. Highly recommend it. Um, but as I say, you know, you're, you're, you're sending someone, you're, you're, you're spending time and effort and money driving traffic. Um, you want to maximize it, essentially, okay? You want to maximize uh, those eyeballs on whatever you're doing. Okay, so you want you essentially want this the, the first page to be as high converting as possible. And then once they've gone through that, you want to show complementary uh, products so that the value of that customer goes from just being $9.95 to $29.95. Okay. You know, so it, it's incredibly important to, to think about these things, think about what you can do and using this tool as opposed to you know, combination of Shopify and some of these other things uh, that have, you know, monthly recurring fees, whereas Express Funnels doesn't, it's a one-time fee, you know, you're going to start saving from the offset. So as I say, this has just been a video about how to maximize uh, drop shipping, you know, how to, you know, increase the value of uh, drop shipping, how to be more effective with drop shipping. If you've liked this video, please uh, give us the, the big old thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button, you know, hitting that bell notification so you see more videos in the future. And I'll see you soon.